Hi, I'm Rory, a curriculum developer here at Prodigy Game. Using technology-based teaching methods is a great way to build up your kids' math skills while keeping them engaged. So here are 10 easy ways to use technology in the classroom. Number one, run a virtual field trip. If a location is out of reach, you can simulate a virtual field trip using Google Cardboard. There are apps you can use to explore famous buildings, such as the Empire State Building, and natural phenomena, such as the Great Barrier Reef. This is a great way to study new areas from a geographic perspective or to hold mock conversations in new languages. Number two, quiet and noisy classroom. To make it easier to give lessons, use a tool that tracks and displays classroom noise. For example, Too Noisy is an accurate noise meter. You'll likely find that, without having to tell them, students will become quiet when the meter spikes. This means most of them won't be as disruptive when you give a lesson or run an independent work activity. Number three, use videos for mini lessons. Boost your lesson plans by using videos as standalone overviews for some topics. Also available as skill reviews and previews, there are many websites that host teacher-made video content. TeacherTube is an example of an education-only version of YouTube covering core school subjects. Live video is also a great option, whether it's a contact from another school or a seasoned lecturer you reach out to. Bringing an expert into your classroom will expose your students to new ideas and can lighten your workload. Number four, share an online class calendar. To keep students informed regarding the content they'll be tackling, create and share a class calendar. You can use a program such as Google Calendar, emailing your calendar's hyperlink to your students or their parents. This not only keeps them informed, but helps you stay organized. You'll quickly see if you've set too many due dates in a short period. Number five, save time for exit tickets. Saving 10 minutes at the end of class for exit tickets opens the door for easy technology use. Exit tickets can take the form of online journal entries, slideshow comments, and tweets. Number six, study, review, and critique content on web pages. Find a web page with content related to your lessons, then get students to make notes directly on the page. Using a program such as Bounce, you can create an interactive screenshot of any page just by inputting its URL. When students open the screenshot, they'll see commands to create notes, feedback, and other edits. Who knew writing notes could be so engaging? Number seven, use online mind maps for class brainstorms. Use a website such as MindMeister to quickly create clear and detailed mind maps. Put the program on a screen that everyone can see. Work with your students to brainstorm ideas as a way to reinforce lessons or launch a problem-based learning exercise. Number eight, launch a wiki page for a collaborative assignment. Collaboration doesn't have to take place face-to-face -face, as you can give group assignments focused on creating a wiki page. There are many programs you can use to create wiki pages, which are web pages that different people can edit. As a project, students can create one about a relevant topic. This process inherently encourages collaboration. That's because students must contribute their own content to the page, editing and refining each other's work. Number nine, participate in a web quest. Web quests encourage students to find and process information in engaging contexts, adding an interesting spin to research process. These free online adventures could, for example, place students in the role of a detective. To solve a specific case, they may have to collect clues and information related to a curriculum topic by scouring certain sources and web pages. Number 10, introduce a game-based learning platform. Game-based learning platforms are designed to engage students in livening difficult subjects and topics. Prodigy is one, providing math content up to the eighth grade level that's aligned with curricula across the English-speaking world. Teachers can create classrooms, track student progress, and deliver custom questions through plans and assignments. Remember, education technologies give you more ways to teach and engage students. These tips should help you find the methods and techniques that are right for you and your students.